Brady. I will call the September 11th, 2024 licensing hearings and public safety committee to order. Uh, roll call. Alder Heideman. Here. Alder Lefebvre. Here. Alder Peterson. Here. Alder Russ is here. And Alder Perella is excused. And join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Alrighty, I feel like we all know each other pretty well. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm, I am number five. I'm looking for approval of the minutes from the August 28th, 2024 meeting. So moved. Second. All in favor of approving those minutes? Aye. aye. Chair votes aye. Those are approved. I am number six. General ordinance number 17-24-25. An ordinance amending various sections of the Sheboygan Municipal Code so as to improve clarity and in interpretation. Audrey. So these are three amendments that just, again, just sort of improve clarity and are keeping us up to date with um, repeals or other conflicts. Um, so there are three amendments. The first one replaces the general municipal code repeals provision with a conflict of provisions provision. Um, that just sort of states if there is a conflict within the provision, um, that one can be X'd out and it doesn't really affect anything else. It's much more specific. Um, the second moves that original repeals um, provision to a different section. It doesn't change anything that was stated in there, just moves it to a different place. And the third amendment adds a provision for the clerk's office to keep a copy in their office of any code, rule, regulation, statute, or anything like that that is adopted by reference by the municipal code. Further, it states that any code, rule, regulation, statute, or the like shall be deemed incorporated by the municipal code. And these amendments are best practices recommended after recent litigation in another community regarding the meaning of ordinances when there are potential repeals or conflicts. Alrighty, any questions, comments? Alder Heidemann. So this came about because somebody else had a problem in their uh, community. So we adopted, we made the changes to our ordinances so that it kind of falls in line and we're not going to run into any kind of a problem. Exactly. Um, there was a recent, uh, as attorneys, we sort of get updates on things so, that are happening and attorney Majerus um, got an update on a case that came through and sort of compared to make sure that we're not going to be the subject of litigation in the future. So this is just to keep updated with the outcome of that litigation. And, and there, there's no other process that we go through these ordinances other than getting the update as to where we need to make changes to other ordinances um yeah so when updates come in sort of when we see things that we think we may need to change that's when um attorney majerus attorney um, adams or myself will sort of look through and make sure that we're up to date with those things make sure we're not unconstitutional or in in, in this in this amendment these this is no way um take our citizen uh, take doesn't do anything against our citizens at all. No, you know? so, not at all. So that it would, okay. Not at all, yeah. It's it just it doesn't have an effect. Really just that. making things more clear and more specific. All right. Any other questions, comments? All right, otherwise I'm looking for a motion. I move that we recommend this to the Common Council. Second. All right, all in favor? Aye. aye. Opposed, chair votes aye, that is approved. I am number seven, resolution number 67-24-25, a resolution authorizing the creation of a temporary designated outdoor refreshment area during River Fest on September 21st, 2024. Say attorney. <laughs> so this resolution authorizes a DORA for River Fest, which is to be held on the riverfront boardwalk on the west side of the down slope of the river there um, from on September 21st only from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, the resolution further sets out some rules for the organizers of the event um, between PD and Common Council and other stuff um, regarding the implementation of that DORA. Any questions, comments? All right, I'm looking for a motion. Move to approve. Second. All right, all in favor? Aye. aye. All opposed? Chair votes aye. That's approved. Item number eight. RO number 53-24-25 by City Clerks and Main License Applications. 
Um, staff's re recommending granting the Class B liquor license to Spices of Sheboygan Downtown LLC. The restaurant is called Spices Restaurant and Bar Downtown and recommends denying the Class B beer license to 1211 Indiana Laundromat LLC, which is the A1 Laundromat. Laundromats, uh, in general, under the Wisconsin State Statutes 125.32 sub 3M does not allow premises which already have a business on them to have a temporary class, or not, excuse me, not temporary, a class B beer license. There are exceptions to that, like movie theaters, restaurants, taverns, axe bars. Um, however, a laundromat is not one of those exceptions. So they are not allowed. It's a really brilliant idea, but <laughs> any yeah, questions, yeah, comments? Yeah, other yeah, idea. He, this guy owns both properties, right? Um, I is... don't believe so. No, when I was going through the application process, I think I saw different names on the Wisconsin um, Department of Financial Institutions. <clears throat> but they were connected. Okay. Okay. Any other questions, comments, concerns about laundromat? <laughs> Alrighty, looking for a motion. So are we going to move for uh, make a motion for each one individually or just I would say just st move, staff recommendations say move based on staff recommendations. Okay, so I'll make a motion. I move that we uh, accept this with staff recommendations. Second. All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Chair votes aye. As approved. Our next meeting date will be September twenty fifth, two thousand twenty four. I'm looking for a motion <coughs> to adjourn. So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. We are adjourned at 4.37. Thanks, everybody.